More than six million Americans have Alzheimer's disease. So we don't yet have a cure, there is hope. Hundreds of clinical trials are researching promising new treatments and looking for underlying causes. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa gomez Isla, director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Memory Division. So what is Alzheimer's disease? It's a type of dementia that affects a person's memory, reasoning, thinking, and judgment. People in the early stages of Alzheimer's may experience only very subtle symptoms. As the disease progresses, memory loss and confusion become noticeable. People may even have trouble recognizing their family members or friends. Alzheimer's typically affects people older than 65. However, early onset Alzheimer's can affect people as young as in their 30s. We still don't know exactly what causes Alzheimer's, but we think it may be a combination of several factors. These factors include age-related changes in the brain, genetic and environmental and lifestyle factors. Because we don't know what causes Alzheimer's, we aren't sure how to prevent it. However, we know that preventing and managing high blood pressure, managing blood sugar, maintaining a healthy weight, being physically active, quitting smoking, avoiding excessive drinking, preventing and correcting hearing loss, and getting enough sleep may help. Alzheimer's disease was first identified in 1906 when Dr. Alois Alzheimer examined the brain of a woman who had died of an unknown mental illness. The woman's brain had unusual clumps and bundles of tangled fibers. Today, we call those two brain lesions amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. And plaques and tangles continue to be considered the characteristic lesions of Alzheimer's disease. We do have some medications that may relieve Alzheimer's symptoms. More recently, new drugs that can reduce amyloid plaques in the brain and may slow the progression of the disease have been approved by the FDA for patients who are at early stages of the disease. Other drugs are being tested in clinical trials. Yet everyone is unique, and people respond differently to these medications. It may take some time to find the right medication and dosage for you or your loved one. One thing we know for certain is this. We need to better understand how Alzheimer's develops. At Mass General Brigham, we are looking for the underlying causes. That knowledge should help us find more effective treatments. In a recent study, we discovered that people who struggle to navigate a simple phone menu may be at risk for Alzheimer's. The data from this study shows that we may be able to identify and treat people long before they show significant symptoms. Our long-term study of the largest known family with early onset Alzheimer's has led to a greater understanding of how the disease develops. The family has over 1,500 carriers of one of the genetic mutations that causes early onset Alzheimer's. We found amyloid plaque is present in carriers about 15 years before they show symptoms. We hope to use this knowledge to predict who will get the disease and develop therapies to delay or prevent it. Our researchers have also looked into gene variants that may protect against the disease. And we are studying the unique brains from people who show a lot of Alzheimer's lesions at autopsy but never develop symptoms of the disease during life. These pioneering studies provide us with a deeper insight into the disease. They also offer potential key clues to develop future treatments that can protect people from ever developing Alzheimer's. With newly available medications and an improving understanding of the origins of Alzheimer's, we can improve the lives of patients and their caregivers everywhere. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Teresa Gomez Isla. To learn more about memory disorders, click here. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.